Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A1 and Sony A7S III. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A1 and the Sony A7S III are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 26th of January 2021 and the 21st of July 2020. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A1. For portrait photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7S III. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A1 and the Sony A7S III. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A1. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A7S III. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A1. I love volunteering at the animal shelter and using this camera for pet finder photos. The eye focus for animals is perfect, and I was able to take a great photo of a cat in a dark room with minimal grain. It was easy to fix in LR. I am really impressed with the camera's hybrid photo video capabilities and its performance in underwater conditions. It may be more expensive than other options, but the peace of mind and the great features make it worth the investment for me. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7S III. This camera takes incredible images with amazing autofocus for video. The dynamic range and low light performance are impressive, and the ability to record ProRes RAW with the Ninja V is a plus. However, I wish it could record RAW internally or at least in ProRes LT. For stills, it's very capable with great AF, but compared to the best Nikon DSLRs, the image and video quality of this camera are incredible, especially for 4K video. However, the cost of the memory card and the included software are downsides. I recommend using Capture One for editing and Handbrake for file conversion. Overall, I'm happy with the camera's performance. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A1. We will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10. Sony A7S III. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 